for soil color, what I'm going to do is pull a new sample and I'm going to insert my knife into the soil profile, pop it out, and I'm going to break open the ped to get a fresh piece that doesn't have any, uh, you know, dried soil on it or any smeared soil from my knife. I'm looking for that fresh piece. Now, if the soil was totally dry, I could mist it with water for my water bottle because we like to do moist colors. But you can also do dry colors. You just want to record on your data sheet what you collected, dry or moist. So this soil sample is plenty moist as it is, so I'm just going to use it like it is without adding any moisture. I'm going to grab the Munsell soil color chart. And a very important trick to using the Munsell soil color chart, and I would say not trick but really a rule, is that you have to have your back to the sun. And also, you're not supposed to wear sunglasses. You're supposed to do this with your naked eyes. I'm going to flip around here. Put the sunglasses back. We're shooting this in Kansas, and so a good starting point for many of our, you know, upland soils would be to start with a 10YR page. That is because it's got some dark colors on it that are usually a good starting point. If I were shooting this in, if I was in the southeastern U.S., I'd start farther in the, towards the front of this book on the redder soil color pages. I'm going to take the pad, and what all I'm trying to do is match it up with the appropriate soil color chip. So for example, this particular piece of soil looks like it matches fairly nicely with the 10YR33 chip, which means that it's dark brown in color. So in conclusion, you can make your soil profile description as simple or as complex as you need to for whatever your given purpose. Soil profile descriptions can be done either in a pit or with a soil probe or an auger or with a post hole digger. Uh, soil pit is not necessary, but it's certainly a nice way to really get the full picture, see what the roots are doing, and really look at soil structure that can be hard to see from an auger. I do like to do my soil profile descriptions from top to bottom. To me, that makes sense because it's how the roots are thinking. If you're thinking like a root, you're moving from top to bottom. But some people like to think the other way and go from the bottom to the top, um, thinking about the, the, the parent materials in the bottom part of the soil horizon working up to the top soil. But like I said, I go from the top soil down into the parent material because that, to me, seems to make logical sense.